Hey, David, can you hear me? Hey, how we doing, man? How's everything going? Hey, right on time there. Good day so far? I see you're in the car. Listen, I'm on the move. Uh, yeah, apparently people love avocados, so I'm, <laughs> um, I, I, I definitely expected to be in on the early parts of the uh, launch, but it's been pretty intense. Absolutely. I mean, I want to ask you a few football questions later, but 100th of location of clean juice? Wow. Yes. That's, that's pretty big growth. Say it again? That's pretty big growth there. How did you get involved with the cause in the first place? Yeah, it was actually very, you know, with no pun on words, it was a very organic uh, experience, <laughs> meaning uh, we started, we did a cleanse last year. We, you know, I think I'm probably a, a well-balanced, you know, I think I do a lot eat a lot more good than I, than I eat bad and endeavoring to be better. And so, um, but cleansing and intermittent fasting and things, those are kind of lifestyle, um, lifestyle decisions. So we did a 15 day cleanse. The last day I ended up being in Charlotte and, uh, as opposed to ruining this 15 day commitment, buddy of mine took me over to, uh, to get some juice so I could finish strong and, and end up in the clean juice in Concord Mills. And I just, you know, I was praying about an alternative investment, um, you know, and, it, you know, like I just, I considered it, you know, I never would have imagined franchising wasn't something that was on my bucket list. Um, but it just, it seemed like the ripe opportunity, the more I looked into it, I looked into, uh, the direction, um, especially amongst younger people and, and, and kind of looking at, looking for healthier alternatives and organic. And, uh, and, and most importantly, it was a great value alignment. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of things that came together. Yeah. Do you have a favorite item on the menu there, Clean Juice? Yeah, my early favorite item is the Intense one, which is one of their protein smoothies. Um, I, I do like a lot of green, um, you know, so it's got some good, you know, some kale. It's got, you know, it's got some kale. What else do we have in there? I'm missing another one. Some spinach. Um, we got some blue spirulina, blue spirulina, which is a green uh, algae. So it's got a lot of, just like it says, heavy antioxidant rich. Got some green in there for me. And it's really got some uh, great flavor. So um, that's my early favorite. And the coffee one is another smoothie that me and my wife kind of rip out of each other's hands. So it's got some cold brew in there. Yeah. And some bananas. So, yes, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not even, my wife is the primary, she's the prize winner. Obviously, I'm, you know, I'm. I'm on front, I'm on the front end and is, is, you know, but she's really the racehorse, you know, so sure. you know, I'm, I'm the showman. She's the racehorse. Um, and, and she, I'm probably 25% into this menu and everything's been really good. Now, did you have any investments before this took off that, you know, it's not on your Wikipedia. Uh, I couldn't find that in your bio, but I don't know. It's like, of course, had you not know that I had a line of protein bars and energy drinks. I don't know that about you. <laughs> no, no, it's certainly not. Uh, I can't sit there and act like this is, this is something that happened just out of an outflow of life. I like to say, right. So, um, you know, when I'm thinking about alternative investment, I'm thinking about a real estate, a remote, you know, a couple, you know, like, you know, just something that much more simple, <laughs> yeah. at least in, in theory. And, but I think, like I said, when it came to the value alignment, the more I got a chance to look into the company, the opportunity for growth that they were have their four years in the franchising, we were their hundredth location. Um, you know, smart and tech people who really value integrity, they weren't afraid to actually incorporate. It wasn't a, you know, it wasn't something I was looking for, but they weren't afraid to incorporate their faith even into their business model. Um, that's risky, yeah. but it's courageous. You know, um, I felt like it's risky, but also courageous. So um, it was great in that, in, that, in that end. So I felt like the opportunity was right. And I also have a large family. I have seven children, and we're a homeschool family. So I felt like there were also elements for my family to be involved, get business experience, and teach through my life. The average person that I'm going to tell, hey, I'm speaking to David Tyree, they're going to go, Oh, the helmet catch. And then a smaller percentage of people are going to go, oh, the guy who's in the Pro Bowl, because you were a Pro Bowler and all that. Yeah. But it sounds to me like having 100 franchises of a business is going to overtake the Super Bowl Association as being your top accomplishment. Well, I would say this. I'm, I'm, this, is my first, this is my first one, obviously. The, w the way I look at it is, you know, you know it's, it's opportunity. And, and um, you know, I think, 
obviously just to get one, get the doors open on any business is a, is a respectable accomplishment. For me, at this stage of life, you know, I'm not old, I'm 40, I'm seasoned, um, but I'm also not young. And I think the appetite was there, the opportunity um, for my, to live entrepreneurship before my children was, was important um, and to be in it with people that I actually kind of in agreement with. Uh, I think there's a, a, you know, there's a thousand ways to make money. Um, I wanted to do something that was genuinely a part of my lifestyle and that could add value to others as well. So I'm, you know, like just a servant at heart. Um, the catch and all that comes along with it, you know, like I, I guess you could say I've been in the background serving others. And this is really my first kind of like a re-entry into the, into the public specter, for lack of better terms. Um, and it's really neat. So I, I plan on having my hands in it. Um, of course, you know, uh, our family will have our hands in. I'm local as a Jersey guy, but at the same time, um, I'll be I'll be going back to work and, and and doing some consulting and leadership development, speaking and things of nature that I've always done. So this is going to be, you know, I think people are going to be, you know, I'll be a little more visual, um, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of different arms of impact that I've always enjoyed having. And then still being tied to the NFL, have you ever tried DDP yoga? No, never even heard of it. Oh, the wrestler Diamond Dallas Page has a yoga program that's part of the NFL uh, Retired Players Association when you get it. I think you get a free... Uh... Oh, you know what? I, now that you said it, I definitely have saw the, I saw the email, but I didn't know he was, by, I didn't know he was behind it. Diamond he, Dallas Page. DDP, he's part of that. That's, that's one of the things when I talk to retired players, they go, oh, yeah, I do that five days a week. I figured as a dude who's still in great shape, with a positive mindset into juice that yoga would be the next step for you. No, I'm, I'm not much into yoga. I, can, I guess you could say I'm more of a traditionalist with my uh, exercise routine. Um, and just, you know, I get, I, I'm heavy calisthenics, heavy body weight exercises. Um, so I actually, uh, you know, my, one of my quarantine bucket lists was we put a, we put a, a dip bar, a pull up bar in the backyard, a nice little <laughs> do what you see. Well, I can't say it was a true DIY project. I definitely had some help. Yeah. Uh, hey, crew. So it wasn't a true. You doing? It wasn't a true DIY project, but you know, my my kids were involved. Um, that's kind of who I am at heart. Just, just, I'm a regular old dude who's had a really, really awesome moment in, in NFL history and figuring life out and trying to do it well. You know, trying to do it with a spirit of excellence. Doing it well. Two quick questions, then you're free because Go for I'm sure. It. At least one of those seven kids has something that's trying to take you away right now. The first thing is, before the quarantine happened, what was the last concert that you went to? Huh. Concert? I haven't been to a concert in ages. Uh, golly. You know, if I would truly call it a concert, um, I, I listen to a lot of, I guess, Christian artists, worship music, mm -hmm. and I don't do a lot of concerts. I, I don't like, I guess you could say, I guess I don't like my I guess I don't like my worship to entertainment pack, but um I definitely went to a oh I did go to uh, hold up I got something better I got something who took me to this concert well I tell you what last big concert I went to was uh the Essence Festival that was that was when I got married 15 years ago after that <laughs> it was Chris Tom, it was Chris Tomlin. Yeah. Years down the road, Chris Tomlin and Matt Redman and a few other people. Uh, you know, that's the that's the. I've never done concerts in general, so yeah, it's, that was a stumper. I thought that uh, you were gonna say, "Oh, I saw," and then you were gonna name a really famous artist and saw him do a private gig to forty people, because that's usually what happens. But yeah, that's you know, fantastic. I'm, I, you know, I got too many kids. Yeah. People ask me, "Hey, do you golf?" I said, "No, I got seven kids." <laughs> <laughs> right on so last question any last words for the kids you know what I, I think you know I, my, my goal in the way that I, that I live and, and I think I think hopefully everyone should aspire that the life lines up with their message is that you know they can that um that they can overcome every obstacle and, 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 and life presents enough obstacles in itself so just get ready gear up and be prepared to overcome be full of faith and get great done Great. Thank you so much for your time. Keep up the great work you're doing, Dave. No, I appreciate the time, man. It was, it was, it was great chatting in with you.
and hope to see a clean juice in New York, where I am. Very yeah, yeah, we 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 getting started here. The uh, reception in Morristown has been amazing. Like I said, I'm doing way too much work, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that means that means the demand is there, and uh, it sounds like we got the right spot. So uh, yeah, if this is duplicatable, then then we'll look to do that with the right opportunity. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout. We'll do. Thanks, man. Take care. Appreciate it. Outro cast.